Hi, welcome back. We're kind of getting down to the last of it. This is the uh, second to the last signature. And I've got it all laid out. And we're going to do a bottom pocket. I pulled some ephemera out. It is the three uh, ornament uh, ephemera. And I did put some red gems on this in place of the um, berries that were on that. And then I'm going to do two panels. The in internal panels are going to be bigger than the outside panels because the outside panels are going to come together and then be uh, attached with a, one of the square cards. So this is just going to get glued in this place. This is the pocket I'm going to create, which is down here across the bottom. And I've just chosen a, a bright element. Um, the black paper is beautiful, but when you get this far into an album, you're forced to use it. You, you, I'm not real fond of all black, even though this has got some sparkle to it. So we're going to brighten it up a little bit by choosing the brightest scrap that you have to make the pocket. Um, we've got some paper left over, but I need to play with it for the last signature, so I'm avoiding trying to cut into it. And you'll see which ones I'm using as I get through this. So I'm going to use some red uh, gems, and then I'm using the chipboard piece with a gold uh, strip of ribbon in there for a bow and we're going to come down here with this. So this is what the base page is going to look like. So let's go ahead and get our measurement for this. We are at eight and a half inches by eight and three quarter inches. And I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this piece. I need to get some tape on this. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this in place. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I didn't turn this over to take a look at. Oh, it's this would be too short. But then I've got all this dark on the dark. I'm going to stick with my, my plan. Kind of funny when you turn over a piece of paper and you're going ooh ooh. Okay, burnish that. I want to put this on. I'm going to cut this last one off. It's kind of hanging off there on the edge. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to glue this down just a little bit so that the bow doesn't come undone. Take the tape off. And 
then I'm going to glue these down up here at the top. They can go on either side. Um, I might, let's take a look at it going on the other side. Well, no, I like the, um, the length along the length. So I'm going to stay with over here. Okay, so there is the base. So let's move on to our first page. I gotta take a whole bunch of stuff apart. <laughs> I'm reluctant to do it because I don't want to lose it. All right, I gotta put some tape on this. Okay, so this first piece is gonna measure in at six inches across, and you're gonna have a five eighths of a score and a half inch score. And it's by the height of the paper. So it's six inches by, what was it, eight and, eight and three quarters. You're gonna score it at half and you're gonna score it at five eighths. Okay, where'd my tool go? There it is, right in front of my face. Got that one in, and then we're going to do the same thing, same exact same thing. It's going to be six inches by eight and three quarters with a half inch score and a five eighths of an inch score. They are duplicate flaps. Come right up to that half inch score line. So that's what we have there. Now, for the internal pages, we're going to use some of that gold. Okay, I hope I can take this off. Yay, turn this around. We're going to use the gold holly paper. And we're going to have a tuck down here on the inside pocket using one of the smaller cutout cards. And then I took this off the sticker sheet. Um, and I think I'm going to use it just here on the inside. It's, yeah, it's, it's not going to interfere with this, but it will help break up a lot of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit that by giving it a good burnish. There are two of them on the sticker sheet. And they add a brightness. And then I'm going to glue this onto, back it on some cardstock to give it some sturdiness because it's going to be used as a tuck. And we don't want our tucks to become wimpy over time. Okay. 
And we're just gonna simply put this down here in this bottom corner. I'm gonna run tape across the outside length. And then just a tiny, tiny bit here to keep it from any items in there from slipping out. And then we're just gonna pull it up off the bottom. Um, I yeah, no, I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. Just realized why I'm putting them on backwards that's why these aren't going in the correct direction I don't know what to do with myself lately luckily I can take these off all right so these are gonna go to the outside I'm gonna put this up here and then we're gonna create another Talk using another one of the brighter cutout cards. And again, securing it on some cardstock. I'm going to trim this down just a smidge because I've got one side a little bit wider than another. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit off and then I'm going to put some tape on the outside and then just a little bit across the bottom help <laughs> if I put this okay you know, I have noticed lately that once I get my beat is broken, I I kind of stumble. I don't know if you're ever that way, but you get going with the rhythm and then somebody drops your drumsticks and then it's really kind of hard to get right back on track again. I don't know if that's a good analogy or not, but that's kind of how I feel. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah. So I'm really glad that you're patient and that you understand. I'm gonna need to lift this. I hope I can get it off. I might have to use some undo. This one was a little bit longer than this one. Okay, so we have our tucks. Now we're gonna go to the inside and we're going to build this. Which means I need to flop these. Okay, let's start with the pieces. I've taken this piece, I cut it to fit this, and then I went in and I cut it in half, and I reversed the panels. And there is going to be a tad bit of a gap, but that isn't gonna matter right at the moment because once we get these glued down, where I'm taking the decorative strip out of the sticker sheet, placing it on gold cardstock, and then that's gonna go down the center, and that's gonna uh, finish the join of these two here. So let's go ahead 
and put this together. So once again, I have taken this sheet and I'm doing it for both panels. I've cut one length and then I have cut it in essentially in half so that I could turn it over. It's a, a way to kind of break up this pattern. I'm gonna trim a little off of this. Because if you don't change up the paper and if what you have to work with, if the reverse side is a solid, play with it. There is a way of using it to kind of change up your papers and your patterns. I'm thinking here because I'm about to do something. I think I'm going to repeat. I have an eighth of an inch strip of tape. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down the very center of this. Hopefully I'm going to line it up with this and I will show you where my thought went on this on another on a another part of this. That becomes a tight tuck. So with an eighth of an inch strip down the center, you end up with this really nice tight tuck where you can tuck in something either top or across the bottom. So let's go and now, here on the bottom, however, I kind of want to break this up. I don't have a lot of choices. We're a little bit limited. I can either use a nice card down here, because this corner's been rounded. I can t put some tape here through here and use this as a tuck, or I can... Um, break it up a little bit by putting this on here, but I have to keep in mind somebody might want to put a photo on here. So I think I'm just going to stick with, oh, oh, look at that. I'd already planned on it. Okay, so there's my tuck on this. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to need to trim this up a little bit because I had to flip sides. It's just, just little tiny degrees um, in how you trim something. And you'll find that it'll be off. It's no big deal. You just have to go in and trim it down so that it fits. Okay, I think this piece will be okay. Piece. 
like I said, I'm not worried about the gap in the middle. It's going to get covered up. That's because it was cut in half and it was no big deal. All right, now this strip, again, I'm going to take an eighth, make sure it's the right piece, yeah. an eighth of an inch. I'm going to come down the very middle of this. And then we're going to take and put that right there. I forgot to burnish that good. Okay, so now floating here somewhere is the card I was, oh, there it is, right in front of my face. It's just a little one. And I think I'm just gonna try and do just a tad bit of glue right here. And then come down here into this corner. So then we have a nice tuck here. You can come up under here with a tuck if that's what you wish. It's a nice tight tuck too. So nothing's falling out of that. Okay, and there we go. Now let's play with our outside flaps. All right, so. So this is going to measure it five inches across. Now, before I do that, I want to make sure that these are going to come together. Oh, gosh, I measured that perfect. I have found that when you are trying to come in the middle of a base page, that if you say, this is my middle, I've come halfway, this is my middle, and you cut the, these flaps to those measurements, but then you come along and build up underneath of it, so you end up with this extra um, cardstock here. What you've done is you've actually pulled these apart because they have to wrap around all the paper that you already have there. So I had made a guess at about adding a, um, a sixteenth of an of an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, to my width, so that when I built up this gusset, that these come together. I was hoping that they were going to come together, and they did. So, FYI, that's what I have found. So these are measuring in at five inches across. You have a half inch score and a three quarter inch score because this gusset's gonna wrap around what we just built. So let's go ahead and get, oh, I already got tape. Let's get these on because then we've gotta start to strategize for the magnet and I'll show you once we get there. So I'm just, laying ever so slightly on that three-quarter inch score and then wrapping this around. <clears throat> Just laying it on there. Beautiful. Okay, so I don't want to lay any paper yet because here's what I'm building on the outside. 
We're going to use this pattern paper out of the core pack. And then I am using this cutout card that has the Christmas tree and the word celebrate. I've backed it onto cardstock and it is going to be used as our closure, which means I'm going to glue down one side, but I got to put a magnet on this side. So I need to place my magnet before I secure this piece. It's okay to go ahead and secure this side because it's just all going to get glued. There's no magnets taking place over here. So let's go ahead and grab um, some magnets. Ouch. And I want to go ahead and put this on the underside. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna place this like so. I'm gonna put some tape on the back side of this because the taped side ended up being uh, face up. I don't know why I have to have that on there. Okay, so these are closed. I'm using this paper kind of as a visual. All right, there we go. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and let's get the inside finished. And then we'll come back and complete the outside. We're gonna use this lovely red striped. We have not played with it at all, so we're gonna have a chance to play with it here. <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and glue it in. So this is out of the core collection because it's two-sided. But to kind of change it up a little bit, we're gonna play with some candy cane featured paper here. Now, when you trim this, you've got a, a quarter inch gusset here make sure that you didn't trim this back into this gusset. Now, also out of the sticker sheet, I trimmed this piece out, mounted it in on some gold cardstock, and this is where I initially came up with the idea of creating a nice tight tuck I do want to try and get this um, in the middle. So we're at eight and three quarters. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be right about in here. Is that about middle? That's about middle. Good enough. And then we're gonna put in this side. see if I can't cheat a little bit here. Okay. And again, you've got a nice 
tight little tuck if that's what you want. But to break some of this up, we could put in some of the ephemera bells. We've got a large one, we have a small one, and we have a medium one. So I'm thinking, now my, the only problem using these though is that there's a photo that goes here. Okay, so that's obviously not gonna happen. So what else can we do to kind of brighten up this page a little bit? How about we set a flower, not in the gusset, because that's gonna cause a, a big bow. Let's either in the center, That look nice. We don't care if we see the words. But that sure brightened that up a little bit better, didn't it? It shouldn't interfere with the tuck because we're gonna glue onto this. I like that, that's pretty to me. Nice and clean. Okay, now we're gonna close it. All right, so the piece that's gonna go on this side is gonna get taped down. Trim up some of this business right here. All right. I'm just trying to center it here. fighting with that tape underneath because I want to pull this over a little bit. And now this side can just simply get glued down. This together I am going to tape it something tells me I need to do that I don't know why I don't care if I ruin a card like this to readjust or move a magnet but I do care when I'm playing on paper by the time I get done building an album there's very little paper left over 
So I wanna make sure I can get into those magnets and move them if I had to. Because my look has not been the best of late. <laughs> Okay, so that's what that's going to look like when we get it all said and done. So I am going to grab this, oh, come on, in the center, and I'm going to come about here with the glue, using my fingers as a guide. I don't glue very well with my left hand. I am so dominant on my right. <laughs> I can't even do this. I'm laughing at myself. What can I say? I'm going to let that magnet find itself. I'm going to pull these together. And then I'm going to commit the glue. Very carefully open that up. Now you can leave this gold if you want, or you can take a piece of paper and come in here and fill it. I'm just gonna leave it at gold. All right, now in your ephemera pack, there are a, several of these Christmas ornaments, and I have decided to replace them on top of some of the ornaments that are already on here. I think I'm going to swap these two. The reason being is there's a pretty ornament there. This has got a pretty ornament, so I'm going to swap those two. Now, what I did was I popped them up so that there was a little bit of a dimension and they're going to sit just like this. <laughs> Putting the longer ones to the outside. Oh, just dropped it. These things are like static cling. Now I do want these to be roughly at the same height. But we need to straighten them out a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to repeat that same process on this side. And it's kind of cool because you've got the other ornaments um, underneath of them on the back side, so it adds a little bit of dimension. roughly at the same height. Well, all 
Okay, so there is our build. Okay. Let's get some tape on the back side of it and we'll get it in our album. I'm thinking here, I'm thinking about one of these little small poinsettias out here. I wonder what that would look like. I think one. And I'm going to pick a red one. Help brighten it up a little bit because there's a lot of dark colors here. Let's put a small red flower right there. We can do that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this. I want to make sure I've got this going in the right direction. And then I'm going to come in here and lay it down. I'm looking to make sure I'm as even as I can be. And then I'm going to get in here, burnish that first set of tape, because I'm not sure where I put it, so I'm just giving it a good coverage all the way around. Now we'll go in here and start taking some tape out. Now I've got a fairly large gusset on this end. Um, once I remove this second uh, bead of tape, I'm gonna make sure that this gusset stays flat, that it is not collapsing on me when I commit the tape down. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same here on this side. Oh, come on out of there. This has got a good burnish on it. Okay. <clears throat> so there we have it. We're all done with this one. Hooray. Yay. Okay. We'll come back. We'll finish this up. I'll see you then.